Good evening uh, to all engineers. It's seven o'clock, uh, and uh, still we have uh, only four engineers. Only three, I believe. One, two, three. And still six engineers not uh, appears on the classroom now. Anyway, uh, we will give good evening and we will give only uh, two minutes. Just I will give two minutes. Two minutes and I will start. Exactly two minutes. Seven zero three. I will start. Okay. Allah kareem, inshallah. Let us see. Good evening for all engineers. It's time to start. Uh, I would like to, uh, to uh, and give some, uh, uh, what you call it, okay. What we have right now, guys, what we have right now, we have in the my screen, I have first exercise. This is the one, I call it first exercise. This first exercise have, have, 17 number questions we need to we'll solve inshallah most of them this is 16 number questions we are going to solve this is i told i told the previous class that's two printed hard copy i believe all of you have hard copy now for this exercise i wish so okay what else is other material we are going to go through it a structure and a slides so we have exercise and we have a slides, zero one first exercise and zero one first class session lecture. This is the first one. And make sure all of you have notebook, pencil, pen, whatever, and calculator. Why? We will go through the exercise, solve whatever we can together. I'm going to through my this my screen my. I have been my paper everything here and we are going to have use the slides okay guys clear please say yes or no clear guys let's start very good I am so much happy now thank you Ty. let's start guys now 
See, this structure analysis is the first class I am giving to our classes. Why? Why I am already planned to give you, there is objective for sure, to give you a structure analysis, three hours, three hour classes, which all of them six hours, maybe it will go for nine hours. Because actually the structure analysis is the key for your success in your exam. So your exam is the key to gain confidence, trust yourself, relief, feel comfort, and get the trust. What I mean here, through your exam, maybe the first questions you are going to find it is a structure analysis. If you don't know how to solve it, you are going to feel panic. You are going to be in a trouble mood. You are going to be confused a lot. No, I need from all of you control your emotion when you are dealing with your exam. Later through the classes, I'm going to give a brief and even detail, it's not a brief, a detailed, how you are going to manage the one hour exam, your one hour exam, how you are going to manage the time. So we'll start from the first slides here. The first slide telling you see, this is my data analysis through all my experience due to uh, this MMUB exam. I found out that 35% from the civil engineers, they are very weak in structure analysis. 21%, they are moderate. 42, they are telling 42.8 good and zero, zero, very good, zero. Means what? I have 35% here and the 21% here, that's meaning 50, almost 55% need to start from scratch. And this type of question is they are very tricky questions, which you have in this slides, it's only they have 12 number questions from previous exams. By everything, figures, numbers, values, everything. So that means what? Means if you practice this type of questions, you are going to memorize even. If you are lucky, the first screen in your exam, one of them. Wow. Once you get the, one of them and you know the answer, you memorize the answer. That's why we are going to solve by our own. You are going to feel confidence and you are going to feel happy and you're best from first attempt. Type. Your strategy as a civil engineer, I said from previous exam, from previous uh, class, I'm going to pass this one. Structure analysis. I am just giving this as to refresh your mind. What type of figure we have? What type of system we have? We have fixed end beam. Fix and beam. Fix and beam both sides, A and C. Fix and A and C fix end. And this is fixed beam. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. Okay. In your mind now, four questions. Four questions. Number one, what is the structure analysis? Number two, why are you as a civil engineer studied the structure analysis? Civil engineer without structure analysis is not a civil engineer. Civil engineer with a structure analysis. Okay. Number three, what are the knowledge areas should you focus on for our exam only? For our exam, we will not go for master degree in structure analysis. I am going to give you what exactly we are going to focus on. Number four, what are the structure elements should you focus on? Ah, there is this four type of questions. If we are going to answer them slowly one by one and you will give examples and answer these questions together, you are going to be familiar and you are going to have refreshment, your, your knowledge. Let us see. Number one. Your strategy, don't forget that by practice makes perfect. By study by your own and solve and using using your your calculation, your brain calculation. Don't focus too much in calculator. Try to enhance your calculation skills. Because in your exam, the, cal the calculator is built in, in your desktop. 
and you are going to be in hurry, always in hurry. You maybe, maybe, maybe you are going to be. I don't know all of you the same mood of me when I'm going for exam. I'm going for my exam. Relax, relax. Whatever is happening, it will happen. But not all of you the same. Not every engineer they have the same have the same mentality or mood. So try from now exercise how to enhance your calculation skills. Okay, practice makes perfect. What is your strategy for studying structure analysis and to get the questions answered right and to get the score of it? In your exam, I'm going to repeat it again. Maybe from five, from four to five, from four to six even. The number of questions means questions means high score. And if all of you solve only these six numbers and the project man management problems and the questions. For sure, hundred percent you didn't need. So we are going to have 80, 20 Barito analysis, a Barito strategy. Means what? Try to study with 20% effort to get 80% result. This is I am focusing on it. Try to do 20% effort. We will gain 80% result. That's because we are cannot focus in all seven engineering topics in 30 hours. So adopt this, this strategy as well. 80, 20 or 20, 80 means 20% effort, 80% result. So now start answer one question. What is a structure analysis? A structure analysis is the determination of the effect of the load. Okay, what type of loads, guys, we have? We have a lot of type of loads. But in our exam, we have dead load and the life load. Dead load and the life load. The effect of life load and the dead load on a physical structure and their components to, to check the stability of the system and safety of the system. Okay, very good. We will go for our screen. If you have a particular, any particular system, randomly, I'm going to draw randomly, like Masana, we have. Randomly. Whatever, this is a cross section. your foundation. You need to calculate for me the reaction load on this foundation F1. You have the root, the root load, root pass. What is the root load pass? The root load pass to, I need from all of you to calculate for me now. How you are going to calculate for me the reaction load in foundation F, the reaction load this is a connection between the system. This is a system, what I'm talking about. Any any structure system. And this is a foundation. Connected with a particular connection here. Rigid or rigid, it's rigid. What is the reaction load? You as a root pass, start from here, going here and this is post, whatever, going here through, you can say slab this way until you reach here, until you get here, until you get here, and you get here. How to determine all the reaction load? This is different today, but you have to define and determine the root best to see the impact and the effect of here. We will come back here. Structure analysis is the determination of the effects of the loads on a physical structure. We need to see the effects of the load. Very good. On way, one way slab and two way slab. How the load is transferred from the slab to, to, to beams. You have a slab. And the beam. And another beam. 
beam one, beam two, and you have here two meter, and you have here five meter. Slab one, slab two. Beam one, beam two, beam one, beam two, beam three, beam four, four meter, and four meter. You are here, width and length is four meter. Here, width is two meter, and here the length is five meter. For sure, hundred percent the load bass, the load bass, it will come through this way. The load already the loads it will transfer to from slab to the beam in this way. Why? Because this is one way slab. What is the criteria to define the one way or two way slab? A lens over a width. If more than two, you by this is one way slab. One way. Yes, five divided two is equal two point five. You by this one way slab. Come here is L over four over four equal one you less or equal two this is a definition of two-way slab the two-way slab this is the the load it will go in this direction clear guys clear everybody is is okay just tell me yes or no yes please clear very good very good very good very good let us go for our exercise so now we have exercise and we have slides this is the exercise the first slide is telling you what is the load and weight equal force equal lm l mass multiply acceleration Try to memorize this, the formula. Try to memorize the formula. The weight equal, is equal to the force, equal the mass multiplied the gravity. Try to memorize all the mathematics and the geometric. This one, try to memorize it. Okay. Number one. Questions number one. Load bass is the one. Of the one load bass is one of the key considerations in structure, in structure design, and it is about how to bring the load acting on the building. As I told you, we are discuss in this example whatever this random example how the load it will transfer from this structure system to the foundation okay so now the load bass is on. to the building facade to the ground and the foundation to the column to the beam take few seconds take few seconds guys and give me the right answer by the way, I need all of you to check your score after the session. Means if we succeed to solve 10, 20, whatever, how many numbers of questions we are going to answer, try to score yourself. See how many answers you already correct and how many answers you already false on it and check your score. The answer is, let, us, let me see, check. Wow, all of you 
correct answer. Very good, very good. See, it's a very simple type, a very simple type of question. Type. So, a stake. All the effect of the load, if even you have multiply stories like 60 floor, I will start from the rooftop until, until we reach to the ground foundation, whatever the type of foundation, buyer or isolated or raft or whatever, and the ground. You must answer is B. Type number two. Questions number two. Which of the following? Which of the following? Raise hand. Okay, raise hand. Tell me whatever. I am going to raise hand. What is the problem? Shikisa, I am going to unmute. Tell me what is the problem, please. Hello? Shakisa. Hello? Tell me. Okay, no problem. I yes, see, it seems. Okay, so now. Which of the following? Number two, which of the following? Reinforcement, concrete, beam, slab, floor, would be considered an effective two-way slab. Guys, take your time. And we have system A, we have system B, we have system C. We have system for each one here, this system. We have system A, this is a system A, and we have system B. And we have system C and we have B, D. We have slab and A. How many slab we have? Add one slab, two slab, three slab, four slab. How many beams we have? We have one beam, main, two, second, the second main beam, two, three, four, five, six, seven beams. We have four column. We have in B, two slabs. And we have one beam. Two beams, three beams, four beams, five beams. We have in C one slab. And we have four beams. And we have four columns. We have in D. How many slab? One slab and four beams. Right. In A will be is wrong. All of them one way slabs. One way slab, one way slab, one way slab, one way slab, one way slab. By what? By our engineering sense. Yes, he don't give you any dimension but you have to enhance your engineering sense. This is what I'm telling, enhance. A D with C, for sure 100% the answer is C. I cannot hear voice, you cannot hear voice. I will, okay, you cannot hear voice, you cannot hear voice C. All of you or only, okay, everyone type. Um, you can hear the voice. I will make it again. I will make it again. One minute. You hear now? Please type or whatever. You are hearing now. If you are not hearing because maybe something wrong in your system. Because I cannot hear you as well. Shakisa, eh? did you hear me now? Please type any whatever I am trying to. I am already on my system. Any problems, guys, for all of you? I believe all of you can hear me. Please. Clear here. Okay, no problem. See? A check, Shakisa, please. A check in your system. I can, okay, A check in your system and rectify yourself, please, now. Okay, very good. That's meaning, okay. Right. So the answer is C. How many score now? Two over two. Two over two. Very good. Two over two. Time. Let us go for number three. Okay. Consider question number three. Consider the framing and the structure detail. We have a cross section here, guys. We have a cross section. This cross section in your this is in the slides now in the screen. We have cross section. It's not elevation. It's not uh, plan. It's not side view. It's a cross section. Okay, you have a cross section, and you have a strap, and you have a stud, and you have beam, and you have column, and you have foundation. Consider the framing and the structure details showing the load bath bath for this diagram design should be what 
take few take, take few seconds and please give me the correct answer take few seconds please guys okay okay see all of you oh very good very good it seems all of you were in, in the in the right in the right track in the right track seven eight eight let me check 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 oh oh let me check Mm, D, wow, fantastic guys, all of you correct. Oh, D, D, oh, very good. The answer is D. The load, it will go from a stud to strap to beam to column to footing. That's it. Very good. You must three over three now. Very good. Very good. Let us go for our slides. You know, what is a structure analysis? First question now, the three type of questions. Answer, you already answer them now. It's what is the structure analysis? The structure analysis is the determination of the effects of floats on physical structures and their components. See guys, by answering these three questions correct, you are understand what is the structure analysis now. Sometimes we have BEB structure system and while you have a, a project, warehouse, a project, and the system is BEB system. And while you are having a project, you, you have to determine the reaction load by supplier. Reaction load, the supplier, he, if he don't have a structural engineer, he will not, cannot, he cannot, he will fail to get, give you the reaction load. Step number two, question number two, why are you as a civil engineer, studied a structure analysis. Why? Why you studied structure analysis? What is a structure analysis? We knew it now. Why? A structure analysis is important because it can evaluate whether a specific structure design will be able to withstand, uh, withstand the external and the internal stresses and the forces expected for the design. Now we will discuss about equilibrium and stability. While design, we need to know the force acting for sure, 100%, especially for in design. But for BEB structure system, what pre-engineered stru uh, structure warehouses, the structure analysis, sometimes in tendering stage, you are giving a particular standard design. And through execution, once you have the execution, is telling you in a contract condition, you have to revalidate the design. I'm just from validation design, you are going to supply, you have a BEB supplier like a Zamir or Kirby or something like that. You are asking him, give me the reaction load, please. He will not give you the reaction load until you sign a contract between him. And anyway, while design, we need to know the force. Correct. Be correct. Very good. Type. Why are you, as a civil engineer, study structure analysis to check the stability and safety of the system and evaluate are uh, this system due to this load? It will be slides or overturning or uplifting. We have three check up for any structure system. Three check up. First check up is sliding. Or this structure, maybe system due to this load, maybe it will be slides or overturning or uplifting. Three structure, three a check up. Okay, so now this is number two. Structure analysis is important because it can evaluate. Can evaluate, let us go for a exercise number one. Ah, this question number four is to evaluate now. Let us evaluate, referring to the figure, what is the load combination produces the maximum uplift on footing? Equilibrium, guys, let us talk about equilibrium after this question. We are going to talk about equilibrium after this question. Answer this question, please. Number four, referring 
referring to the figure. What is the load? Combination. Uplifting. Where is the foot? He's telling you footing A. Uplifting means what? Mean, what's the meaning uplifting? What's the meaning uplifting? I will show it to you. All of you can see my screen correctly, please, guys. I wish all of you can hear me and see my screen and whatever I'm doing now. We have uplifting. First, sliding. Sliding means you have a particular. Retaining wall. Use this load. You have a load here. Use this load. Maybe this is move in this direction. Slides. This retaining wall. Maybe slide in this, you are sliding. Like, what about you have a building like that? Use this load, wind load. Maybe the rooftop, this is the rooftop. Uplifting all of them, it will be uplifting, remove. From in this direction or overturning, overturning, you have a particular equilibrium system, any equilibrium system, and you have a load, external load, and you have point support point A, support point B. Use this load. This body will be overturning about B. That's meaning it will be overturning like this. We are just overturning point. So sliding, uplifting, and overturning. Okay? Right. Very good. Let us go for our what is the combination then, guys? Let us see the answers. We still have four engineers not answered. Please participate, guys. Try to answer. Try to answer. See now, we have dead load, life load, and wind load. Uplifting means this direction. This body, it will move in this direction. That means what the combination. Take a moment here at foundation foot, at the footing A. That's meaning dead load, life load, wind load, both, all of them. All of them in one direction. Make moment in the same direction. That's mean what the combination is dead. Life, the blast wind. Let's see, let me see the answer. D, very good. D, D. Oh, fantastic, guys. D, all of you, correct. D, D, correct time. Very good. Let us go for our. Okay, number five, we'll start the number five later. Let us see now, structure analysis is why are you civil in, as a civil engineer, study structure analysis, structure analysis is important, blah, blah, we talk about this one. Number three, okay, what are the knowledge area should focus on? What's the knowledge area now? We will start now. What exactly is the knowledge area? Now we study, we, in general, structure analysis, from question number one to question number to question number uh, for question question number one to question number uh, number uh, two is in general. Now we'll go more specific. So now. Shear force, normal force, and the bending moment force, 3.1, 3.2. Shear forces, normal forces, 
and moment diagrams. 3.3, statically determinate and statically indeterminate structure elements. We are going to discuss about them. Stability of structure elements. We just start to discuss about stability now. We, from question number two. Deflection and the slope of a structure elements. Okay, very good. We'll go for equilibrium. First, let us have what is the equilibrium? We will discuss now about one point number one, equilibrium and the equation of equilibrium. What's the meaning of equilibrium? Anybody, anybody, anybody. This is a, anybody you have. A, particular body. A particular body. We call this body statically equ under equilibrium state. What does it mean? You have, for example, force acting inclined in this direction. This is P1. And another force acting in this direction, vertically, B2. B2. Okay, this is a Can you explain one and two questions once again? I was not here's a voice. Balance force. Okay, I will come back to number one and two later, but just only let us focus in let us focus in this area now and I will come back to it within maximum five minutes. Okay. We call this body is under equilibrium. For sure, hundred percent. This acting forces on a body. What you are expecting, what you are expecting due to this load on the body, for sure 100% there is what? There is a, there is reaction load. For sure 100%. You are one. And for sure 100% are two. Okay. For sure 100%. And the weight of the body itself. And he, W, W. We call everybody, every load have its own concentrated and say concentrated point. At the point, this point is alpha. This is uh, with X and Y. Inclined with alpha. And the B2 is vertically and the reaction one. And for sure, 100% there is force here. Resist B1. If you have B1, you have B1. Decompose this force into two direction. B1, B1 what? B1 cosine alpha. And here is B1 sine alpha. And B2 and R1. So we said this, this body is under equilibrium. If we have three equation, Sigma X, all the forces in X direction should be zero. Sigma Y, all the forces in Y direction, in vertical direction should be zero. Sigma moment, Sigma moment for all the forces for a particular point, like for example, X, like for example, Z, this is, should be all the moment for all these forces equal zero including reaction you, uh, we have reaction it's a load this reaction developed due to the external load 
if the body it will move means for sure hundred percent if move you by sigma x is not zero if it's move there is a moment you as this if move in this area in this point in this point for example one two point number two and point number one if in point number two overturning this meaning the sigma moment is not equal zero if or uplifting in point A, that's meaning uplift. There is uplift force here, that's meaning sigma y is not zero. You have to have equation, the equation, three equation of E, O, E, equal three. We call it three equation of equilibrium. If the three equation of equilibrium, all of them zero, 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 means what this body is stable and under equilibrium state. In a structure system, we adopt and we have the standard. We consider any structure system is under equilibrium states. Means what? Any beam, any frame, any uh, truss, under equilibrium, statically under it could determinate. Indeterminate is different story. But let us see statically equilibrium. That means what? The three equation is equal zero. If a sigma y is equal to zero, sigma x is equal to zero, sigma y, sigma m is equal to zero. Clear? From this point, we'll start to structure analysis about supports, systems, reactions. What is what we'll see now? Let us see. Don't, don't forget, don't forget about that three equation of equilibrium. I will go back for which are number one and two the N and Harry. Okay, guys, because one engineer. Don't worry, guys, we have enough time and inshallah we'll sort. Number one. Question number one. Load bass is one of the key consideration in a structure design. And it's about how to bring the load acting on the building. Any loads. Any loads start from high level, level for example, three building, three floor building, up, uh, ground plus three, typical floor. Start from the rooftop until the loads coming into through the foundation and from foundation to soil. So the load bass is what the load bass is, is all the weight of the building through ground. We need to go put it through ground. So to the building facade, to the ground foundation, to the column, to the beams. For sure, 100% is the correct answer is to the ground and the foundation. Okay, guys, if a number one is already clear. Number two, consider which one is one-way slab and two-way slab. One-way slab and two-way slab. One-way slab, we have lengths, we have widths. Any slab. The ratio between its length over its width more than two, we consider it as one-way slab. Means what? Slab with one meter width and three meter length. The ratio is three over one is equal three. You as that mean what? This is one-way slab. Tight. Another slab, one point one point eight length width and the three meter three meter length. That means what? Length over weights, you buy three over 1.8, less or a less or equal to. That's meaning what? One, two way slab. So that means what? From our sense, from our sense, A, wa B, wa C, wa D. Which one of them have two way slab? This is one way slab. As our engineers will consider one way slab, 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 two way slab, one way slab. So the answer is C. I believe now I already clear for one and two. Noted? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Right. Let us go for our A slides again. Here, you have a shear force, normal force, and the bending moment force, and shear force, normal forces, and the moment diagram, statically determinate and the statically indeterminate structure system. The stability of the structure elements and deflection and the slope of structure elements. Very good. Question number four. 
what are the structure element should I focus on? Okay, I am going to focus in beams, trusses, frames. Okay, very good. We'll stop in this point. Three and four will come back again, Jamie. Let us go for our exercise. Number one, two, three, four, solve it, correct? Number five, guys. We'll start from number five. Of all of you, solve this questions, correct? Invited for five-star hotel. Hotels is open now. You are invited, all of you invited for five-star hotel dinner from my book. All of you try to solve this question correct. I will give you two minutes, 13 seconds. Read this question, try to solve it, and tell me what is the maximum load that the crane can lift can lift without overturning is most nearly. Equilibrium, guys. Equilibrium, equilibrium. Sigma moment at any point should be zero, which I just tell you now. Try to solve this question by your own in your notebook. Now, take two minutes and 13 seconds. Tell me your answer, please. Okay, uh, what is the correct answer, all of you? Still, take your take your time. No big deal. I am going to prepare myself for this quiz. Take your time, and nobody. When I say two minutes thirteen seconds, I am just try to make you excited and challenging. Five star hotel waiting for all of you. <laughs> star, first of July, I believe the hotels will be open for dinner. <laughs> Assume you have this questions in your first slide, first question in your screen, in your exam. And it's come like everything with values, numbers, everything. So as much as you can memorize, you are going to be perfect. And as much you solve this question by your own, you are going to be more perfect. Mm. Solve it, guys. Oh, come on. All of you, four over four now. Guys, yalla. 
four over four. Mm, good, good, good. Inshallah, everything will be okay. Equilibrium, guys. Overturning, overturning, overturning. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Wow, A, oh, oh, do, 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 do. A, okay, let me check. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Wrong. <laughs> Guys, I have tower crane with 7,000 pound. Counterweight. 7,000 pound means, means this is 7,000 pound. 7,000 pound divided, divided 1,000, we call it 7 kips. You have a 7 kips here. Seven caps. This is what we call it counterweight. Seven thousand bound divided one cap equal one thousand bound. You, uh, you have to know now. Start now to memorize and the refreshment. A bound one thousand bound equal one cap. Okay, very good. And and counterweight A is used to pick up loads with fifteen boom extension that's meaning the boom is 15. the cg of the boom is far away from the post five feet that's mean what here we have five feet i will check your answer right now five feet okay this is one thousand one thousand divided one thousand one cap And we have here 10,000, uh, 10, sorry, 10 feet. Let me check your answer. Let me check your answer. Let me check your answer. Can show the equation, can you show the equation again? I will show the tour. I will solve this question and I will show you the equation. Uh, for A is wrong, 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 wrong guys. You are failed to have the five star invitation from me. That's okay. <laughs> let us see. So I need to know. Okay, let me check now. Let me check the last D. Oh, ho. oh, ho. perfect, guys. Perfect. Gobi, yes, this is correct answer. I am appreciating you. Correct. Let us solve it for all of you. Okay, let me solve it. Right. Let us see. We have one caps here. This is one cap, and we have B. B is unknown. I don't know it. I need to know it. And we have a post of the tower crane is 3,000. 3,000 divided, divided three by three caps. Here by three caps. Three. And we have the foundation is 20,000 pounds. That's meaning 20 caps. You buy here 20 caps. And here is three caps. Three caps. And we have three point at the point number A. Point B and point C. What is three point? Three point, this is a foundation contact with the soil. In your opinion, due to this load, what is the overturning point? Point A, due to this load. This load, it will be exceeds than the limit. The system, it will be overturning in this direction. This is the, the way of the overturning movement. The section, all the section will collapse in this direction. Where is the nearest point for overturning? Point A, well, point B, well, point C. Please give me your opinion in the chat now. Give me L A, well, B, well, C, overturning. Due to this load, all the system it will fail have a failure on the system in this direction what is the arrow now the arrow now c c c correct 
the nearest point, the nearest point that this system it will be overturning in point C. Correct. This is a point. This is a point. Here is a, this is the overturning point. The system can yes can fit here, but due to what? Due to what failure in the system? If the moment, if the moment the the, the connection between between the post and the foundation is not designed as as uh, as a, uh, resist the load maybe yes failure it happened here but he told you overturning he is more specified in the question mean overturning means what equilibrium equilibrium where we will take a level equilibrium that's meaning what here is a point Whatever forces in the right hand, where is the right hand now? At the right hand. And the left hand. You have forces in the right hand and you have forces in the left hand. Sah, correct? This is right hand. And this is your left hand. You have B1 and one kip in this line, in this side. And you have seven kip and three kips and twin kips in this side means what should be the resultant of the moment due to these forces in a point c should be zero means what means b1 make moment in this direction see صح كده or not add one add your first moment b1 multiply what distance distance اللي هي 12 اللي هي 10 plus 5 minus 3 because of this distance is three feet. 12, 15 minus, minus five, equal, plus five is equal 15, minus three is equal 12. You B1 multiply 12. What else? We have one kip, one kip, plus one kip, multiply what? Multiply five minus three equal two. This is a summation of the right hand what is the left hand left hand we have seven multiply what multiply we have this distance is seven seven feet let me check seven feet seven feet multiply you have seven feet Seven feet plus three, you have ten. You have seven multiply ten, correct? Number two, what? Three, you have three. Multiply three. What else? Twenty. Twenty. Multiply three. You have, this is the moment from the left hand side. Should be both should be zero to have equilibrium. Means what? Should be the right hand, left hand equal each other. From this equation, I can get the B. You, uh, is the equation telling you what? The equation is telling you B. B1. Multiply 12 plus 2 equal 70 plus 23 multiply 3. 23 multiply 3. It'll be, it'll be, will equal 11.41 kips. If you calculate now, calculate now, calculate, all of you, you will found out that it'll be equal D, correct? The answer is D. Very good. You will found it out 11.41. Means what? If you have a load equal 11.42, 11.42, this system, it will be overturning in point C. Type. For factor of, factor of safety and, 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 we will take it, what is the most nearly answer is 11. Let us see our option. 11. Let us see our option. 
here. Option number A, 7.5 is wrong. Option number B is 10.75 near. Number C, 13.25 keeps wrong. Number D is 11. Most nearly. You most nearly I will take 11. The answer is 11. Now it's clear. All of you please tell me it's clear or not. All of you, let me check. Great. Okay, very good. Alhamdulillah. Tayyip. Now we'll come back to our the answer shall be more than eleven. The answer shall be la zay. How come? Again. Again, guys. Anwar. Anwar, please try to so the answer it will be eleven. Eleven point four three point four one. So the answer. If 11, if 13.25, that's meaning for sure 100% this system, it will fail, fail, failure, have a failure on it and overturning in point C, as I discussed with you. The answer shall be more than 11. The answer shall, yes, you got it now? Okay, okay very good. Alhamdulillah. Again, we'll come back to our structure. So now, what are the structure elements should I focus on? Beams, trusses, frames. Today we'll discuss about beams. Beams. Okay. And we'll discuss about shear forces, normal forces, and depending moment forces. Shear forces, normal forces, and moment diagrams. Statically determinate and statically indeterminate structure elements. I will just give, I will just give five minutes as relax and we'll come back again after five minutes exactly okay five minutes guys please just five minutes seven zero seven i'm come back
Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, let's start now, discuss about beams and shear force, normal force and the bending moment. Bending moment forces and diagrams. Okay. First, loads, we discuss about loads acting on a system. When the loads acting, acting in a beams, we have a standard assumption of all the elements. For example, supports. Supports. First support we are going to discuss about it, it's hinged support. Hinged support indicated like that. This is the indicate indication of hinged support. That's meaning we have a support. We call it hinged support, or what we call or bin support, or bin support. Due to the load. You, this is a hinged support, as I told you, and this is, we call it roller support, roller support. This, our first structure system you are going to study is the beam. This is beam, simply supported beam. This simply supported beam, beam. Beams use a loads, B1, B2, whatever the loads system acting there is a reaction every action have a reaction due the system we call it hinged support we only have one reaction a standard this is standard you by r1 r1 is vertical to the level the the x direction you uh, this is a reaction okay if even the loads here, here, here inclined, we have two reactions, R1 and R2. This is the way, always. If even the beam inclined like that, and this is the support, see, this is the support, and you have another support, lower support, the reaction uses load B1, it in this direction at one, two. You are one, are two. See the way of the reaction on the hinged support, two reaction. What about the reaction on roller support? Always perpendicular to the plan of movement. This is the perpendicular. That's meaning R1, R2, you by this R3. Also, tight. Due this beam, this beam again, another beam. This is hinged, and this is roller support. And you have here ten newton, ten kilo newton, ten kips, whatever, ten kilo newton acting on this beam. This distance from here is. 6 meter and here is 2 meter how many reaction how many reaction guys three directly this is a simple supported beam i have two reaction here assume this a and this is b you i have what i have y b first reaction second reaction x B and Y A. Hello. Y. How many reactions then? At one, two, and the three. Okay. Did you know them? All of you guys. Did you know them? Now, did you know them? Tell me yes or no. I need all of you. Yes or no? Did you know them? Yes or no? Yes or no? Let me see. Did you know them? No, I don't know them until I use the equation. 
No, guys, this we call it unknowns. We still apply the equations, we will get wrong. But until now, I don't know them. I don't know them. I have to apply the equation sigma x is equal to zero, sigma y is equal to zero, sigma moment at any point equal to zero because I am consider this statically under equilibrium. Clear? You, I have three unknowns. I have three unknowns. It's moment two, of course, three equation. I call three equation. Sigma x equals zero. All the forces in x direction should be zero. Sigma y, all the forces in y direction, in vertical direction should be zero. And sigma moment at any point it should be zero. This is the three equation of equilibrium. Class, I got to know them. Three equ equation of, of equilibrium. How many equation? Three guys, class. I know them now. Three equation of equilibrium, sigma x, sigma y, sigma moment. Type. How many unknowns? How many unknowns? I have three unknowns. You have three unknowns. That's mean what? You have these three unknowns, three. Unknowns and three equation of equilibrium. Three minus three is equal to zero. Ah, three equal to zero. That means what? This simply supported beam is statically determinate. Now we discuss about reaction supports, type of supports for a simply supported beam. Equation of equilibrium, unknowns, and so now if the unknowns equal the equation of equilibrium for any structure system, we call it what? We call it statically determinate. Determinate. Statically determinate. So and now the definition now of the definition now of statically determinate and the statically statically indeterminate structure elements we dis we discuss it right now i will give another example another example slowly slowly we refresh all our knowledge we talk about two supports i am going to talk about the third support only we will discuss about only three type of support the third one is fixed end Fixed end, ah, fixed end support. What does it mean, fixed end support? Fixed end su cantilever beam. It will be like that. Ah, this fixed end. So we have. Hinge it, corner, and fix it. Fix it, we have two reaction here, one and two. We have one. And we have here due any load, due to any loads acting on the system, B. We have three reaction here, three reaction, A, D, A, B, you have a Y, A, and X, A, and moment, M, A. This moment, this force X, this Y, A, X, uh, A, Y, A force is three reaction. So now I have three reaction. Okay, type. So for this system, Rural support and fix end. And you have load B1. This load is 10 meter, 10 kilometer, 2 meter, 2 meter. A, B, 
see. Let us discuss about this system. This is a beam, yes. One side is fixed end, and one side is roller support. How many reaction guys? That you unknowns. How many unknowns? How many unknowns? How many unknowns? Reaction. How many unknowns? I don't know them now. Y A. Y A perpendicular to and Y A. What else? Y B. X B. And M B. You have any one, two, three. We have four unknown. Three equation of equilibrium. Three equation of equilibrium equal four. Four minus three equal one. Uh, means what? I cannot solve this structure system using three equation of equilibrium and this system is statically indeterminate fairest degree you are now a nodes equilibrium supports reactions i got to know now this system i cannot solve it in your exam will never ever never ever never ever give you indeterminate problem never he will give you all the answer all the questions with, with fact of determinate structure system let me check your Let me check your share what we have. Four. Very good. Type. type. Now, to solve this type of questions, you have maybe he will give you a support or give you a, a, a hint to solve it, which you call it hinge, or you have to use another system which is not equation of equilibrium. We call it influence line, moment distribution, a lot of A system. In our class, we are not focusing in this area. We are going to focus in this limit. Determinate and determinate. To solve this question, he will give you a hinge here. He can give you a hinge here. Tell you a hinge here. There is hinge. Hinge. Why hinge? I have another, equ another equation. Sigma moment at D equal zero you have a sigma moment you have a three equation of equilibrium and plus sigma moment especially at d equal zero you have a four plus one you have a one plus three equal four minus four zero خلاص بعد a this system is statically determinate now خلاص خلاص solve it now he will give you a hinge Never ever in your exam give you a structure analysis problem problem with st statically indeterminate. Clear? Let us talk now about what about normal force, shear force moment. Okay, I will give a very simple which, uh, uh, example, and I will solve it to you. Clear, guys? Until now, please tell me yes or no. Because structure analysis is very important, all of you. Please, guys, clear or no, or I can repeat, no big deal. I can repeat, no problem for me. I guess, okay, <laughs> I guess so, okay, yes, very good, thank you, thank you, very good, very good, very good. Now, let us go for a particular a example. Let us go for this example. You have a simply supported beam. Simply supported beam. See, guys, simply supported beam. 
engine. And order support. And you have inclined force. Equal 10. See, I'm giving you 10 kips. This angle is 30 degree. And this is 3. we can say 6 feet and 4 feet. A support A and support B. What is the normal force? What is the shear force? What is the moment force in a particular point? C. C is far away from this end by three feet. I need section C. I need all of us now with me and with, I'm going to show it to you now. Calculate and estimate the normal force at section C, the shear force at section C, and the moment bending moment uh, moment force 8a at section c okay to solve these equations we have to get all the unknowns i have reactions now okay very good that's mean what here first of all this inclined force what does it mean inclined force means i have to decompose it in these two directions Why is not written? <laughs> okay, anyway, this is 10. 10 what? 10 sign. Tell it 30. And here is 10 cosine. 30. If you have any inclined force, this inclined force at the B, and you have theta, this force is B sine theta, and this force is B cosine theta. This is the way, okay? Let us draw the free body diagram. Free body diagrams mean what? I'm going to remove all the supports and I will do all the reaction on the body means if I will leave this body in the air, will not move because determinate and indeterminate difference ones, again, shear, Tab, okay, <laughs> very good, very good. Let us a let us solve it. This is your very good, very good. Determinate and indeterminate difference once again. Determinates means total number. Determinate. I'm talking about determinate. Total number of unknowns equal equation of equilibrium. If I have unknowns, unknowns, the reaction equal three and equation of equilibrium equal three. If I just mean what? If I, this is a statically determinate. If unknown as a beam hinged and another support hinged, how many reaction now? And this is force B1. How many reaction now at one, two, one, Two. How many unknowns? Four. Four. Equation of equilibrium three. Three minus four. One. That means what this system is statically indeterminate first degree. 
Why first degree? Because four minus three equal one. Type another system. Add one. Continuous spin. Hinge. Hinge. Load. Load. And I have A1, B, sorry, B and C. How many hinge, how many hinge support? Three. One, two, three. How many reaction? I have two. Two. Two means what? I have six unknowns. Three equation. If equilibrium, three. Three minus three means what? I have system now statically indeterminate third degree. Clear, guys? Clear? Now, the difference between determinate and indeterminate, how many reaction, how many equation of equilibrium, how many unknowns, I can get them by the equation of equilibrium. How many unknowns, I can get them by using the equation of equilibrium. That is, is the difference between statically determinate and statically indeterminate. Clear? Let us go for our example. You have the calculator, you have bin, you have network, and you give me the free body diagram. Free body diagram. I have here. I have here what? I have a force, reaction, sorry, Y, B, and X, B, two reaction. And I have here what? I have Y, A. And I have force acting here is vertical. 10 sine 30 is equal what? And 10 cosine 30, if you come back, 10, 10 cosine 30 equal 8, you buy this is 8.67 kips. And I have 10 sine 30, 10 multiply sine 30, equal 5, equal 5 caps, 5 caps. Type. The first equation I have now, the first equation sigma x, sigma x is equal 0. You have sigma x is equal 0, sigma x equal zero means what means xp equal what equal eight point six seven caps and this is the first equation what about the second equation i get the first unknown now xb is equal eight point six seven clear guys everything is okay now hello Okay, please. If anybody need any queries or questions or whatever clarification, just say, write it down in the chat. Right. Okay, we have sigma y equal zero. Okay, and I have another equation, sigma moment at any point is equal zero, at any point is equal zero means what? If I take moment at sigma a is equal zero, I can get what? I can get yb. Let us have this equation. Sigma moment at any point is equal zero first. You add the first equation. You have a sigma moment should be sigma moment at a equal zero. I will get what? I will get yb. Sigma moment at zero equal five first five multiply four because this is a five here 
distance is four, you uh, minus five, why minus? Later on I will tell you why. Minus five, multiply four, okay? Plus another equilibrium, guys, make sides, both sides, LYB plus 10 equal, sorry, should be equal zero. This is the equation. You have LYB equal 20 over 10 equal two. Oops. Y be equal to Kips and we have here 6.8.67 and I have sigma y is the third equation this is the second equation add one add two add one and the third one is third one sigma y equal zero means what means L Y A plus a two layer y b equal ten equal five sorry equal five means yes because this is a vertical now is equal five that's mean y a equal what equal three caps I get I get all unknowns yes I get this is the third equation I get all the unknowns now. This is equal, equal three. I get all the unknowns now. Very good. So now all the unknowns, I get them by using what? Using equation of equilibrium. If this support hinged, means what? Two reaction, I cannot solve. I cannot solve this beam with three equation. Let us have the what is the diagrams? I am going to draw diagrams now. From these diagrams, I am going to have forces. First diagram is normal force diagram. Normal force diagram. Always, always from your side, you will start to draw from the left hand side. This is the left, left hand side. This is the left hand side. You always start, this is normal force diagram you will start from the left hand side left hand side type any force here normal force means what perpendicular to the section you buy add section a add section a any perpendicular force no go straight 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 zero 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 until you reach to the points d reach point d this is point d Reached point D, yes, there is normal force started from this section, D. Section D exposed to normal force compression. Compression, always the sign of compression force is negative. Means what? Down. Negative. Negative, 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 until the other force, zero at zero. If this is negative, normal force. This is a normal force diagram. I am started through normal force diagram. Why in your exam you are expecting to draw normal force diagram? No. He will not asking you to do to draw normal force. He will ask you to a particular value in a particular section. And you need to practice how to deal with this type of structure analysis question using this technique. Through exercise makes perfect. Later on, you are going to directly, you are going to calculate directly. But I am just to start to from scratch because this is very important to identify and define the, the signs of the forces negative, positive, how to draw positive and negative normal force, how to draw positive and negative shear, how to draw positive and negative moment. That's why we start to draw this one. This is a normal force diagram. What about shear force diagram? Let us start again from the left hand side. 
Left hand side, yes, this is coming here. Left hand side always in the left, if the force in the section from the left hand side up, you opposite. Up. You, I will start here with up because this Y A is telling you up. Here the reaction telling you up. Three kips. You up and you up, 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 up. Start from the left hand side up. You opposite. Start, start, go, 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 until section D. Section D telling me what? Telling me five keeps down. You a five minus three equal two. Start, 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 go, 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 and two, uh, zero. Class. So now I have positive shear. Three. And three, and I have negative shear in this side, two and two. Two and two. Where our section? Our section D, C here. Okay, now the normal force on this section is equal what? Compression minus, 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 minus what? Minus eight point. Sorry, this is eight point. This is eight point six seven kips, and I have negative shear in this section. Means in the left hand side the force is down. This section, as you say, section here. This section here. See this section C. In the left hand side means what? The force here is shear force is equal to down. Keeps. Okay. That's meaning now I got 8.67 normal force, shear force 2. Clear, guys? Please tell me clear or not. Yes or no? Please. Clear or no? Shall I repeat? Or this is very important, very important too. I, how to define the signs of normal force and shear force? Moment will come to one now. Clear or not clear? Let me check, guys. Shear ones. Okay, yes, shear ones, shear ones. I need the normal force diagram. The normal force diagram, okay. Please explain normal force minus. I need, okay, okay. We'll come back again. We'll do it again. This is very important, we'll do it again. No big deal, we have enough time. No big deal. Time. Okay, again. All of you, our, uh, all of you, uh, we understand now, understood how to get all the reaction. All the reaction, I got it, all the reaction. All the reaction, I got all the reaction. All the reaction, I got. Let us draw the free body diagram again. Let us draw the free body diagram again. This is a free body diagram. The free body diagram, I have free body diagram. This is my beam remove the supports i have here y i have y a equal what y a is equal three kips and i have here in point d in point d i have vertical force is equal what equal five and i have horizontal force acting in this section is equal eight eight point six seven okay and i have reaction y b y b equal y b equal to and x a x b equal 8.67 caps okay let us draw the normal force diagram any normal force diagram start always from the left hand side where is the left hand side from this side so now i am going to draw the, the normal force diagram Okay, very good. 
normal force diagram, I start from point A. Point A, section A. Point A, section A, point section A, nothing. No any force. The force start acting in D. Start acting on section D because it's the inclined force acting in D. So inclined force, I decompose it to X and Y in, boy, in section D. You have a zero, 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 zero until I reach here. This section D, we have normal force now here, 8.68, normal force. The section here, and this is the section D, and the point is perpendicular. This is a force perpendicular to the section. Compression. Yes, compress. Perpendicular to the section. You, as it means what? I have eight straight, 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 until we get another eight from the other side, make zero. I will reach you. You as you start from zero until we reach eight. 0.67, here 8.67 and 0. You are here all any section from this point D until point P, we have normal force acting on any section here. Means if this is a C point C, section C, I am going to have this is a normal force now. What is the value is 8.67. Hips minus why minus because it's compression. If tension if the force pulling the section, meaning the sign is positive, but the section here is opposed to normal force. That's meaning negative. You have a minus 8.67. Okay, guys, clear type shear force. Normal force are horizontal force. I said normal force is the X direction perpendicular to the section. Shear force need to cut the section is vertical. Yes, need to cut the sections. Need at point D, the section need to cut in barely. Yes, correct. Shear force are vertical. Okay. Normal force is perpendicular to the section. Shear force is parallel to the section. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, so let us draw the shear force diagram. Shear force diagram. This is very important, very important area. Once you hear everything, finish. Structure analysis start from here. Shear force diagram. Start from the left hand side. Zero from here, and the section A telling you before section A zero. Once you get the section A, the force telling you three up from the left hand side three up you buy three three keeps straight until d in, in section d we have vertical force five you have a three minus five equal here two two three if a three plus two is five, zero is start here uh, horizontal, horizontal until zero. You are here two, yes, affiliate my zero here. This is two and it's two. You are all this shear is negative shear because down and this up, we call it positive. Left start left hand side, start left hand side is three from here, yes. Straight five, telling you three down. You as it meaning two, meaning negative, and the shear is reverse. In this section, C, in this section C, this is a section. See the shear force telling you what? Telling you down. This is a shear force. It's not perpendicular. It's not perpendicular. Perpendicular to the section means here pointed. No. The shear force need to cut the section down by value is equal to minus. You have a negative shear down. Okay? Let us draw, draw moment. Moment diagram. I will draw moment diagram.
and at point A is equal, sigma moment should be equal zero. At point B, moment is equal zero. At point D, what is the moment from the right hand side and the left hand side? Point D, A, under the concentrated load, diagonal lo uh, inclined load is A, we have D, we have five, uh, A, uh, five vertical, and we have three here, we call it here two, this is two reaction, and we have three here. From the left hand side, right hand side, this reaction make moment in this direction? Yes. In this direction is equal what? Equal what? Equal to multiply six. Yes. This is a section. From this point, from this reaction to make moment to multiply x. Multiply six. Okay. What about the other side from the left hand side? The left hand side, I have three, multiply four. Three, multiply four. Equilibrium, 12. 12. Sigma moment at any point is equal zero, correct? Yep. Uh, from the left hand side, our right hand side, because this is dead load. Assume this is life load coming, going there. That's meaning the moment it will be varied. And we will take the maximum moment in design. I am concerned, my concern is this point, C. From section C, this C now. Moment is equal what? Equal to this direction from the left hand side. This is the right hand side. Two multiply three is equal what? Two. Multiply three is equal what? Equal six. You a moment here is equal. The value of the moment is equal six. Kips feet. You a kips six kips feet. This is the right hand side. What about the left hand side? Left hand side. I will start from the left hand side. I have reaction here three. Three multiply two four plus three seven. You positive. Two, I will tell you why positive and negative soon. Two, multiply seven, okay, minus, minus what? Minus five coming from the vertical component four, 10 caps, multiply three, five, multiply three. Multiply three, one, one five, multiply three, or what? Three plus four, seven, you pass three around. This is three, guys. This is three. Because the reaction here is equal three. You pass three multiply seven minus five multiply three equal what? Equal 21 minus 15 equal six kips. You pass the moment here in this direction six and from other direction is equal six. Both of them is equal zero. You but now the moment at section C is equal six. How I'm going to define the signs again, we'll come back to another area. We'll talk about all the signs again, because this is very important about to, how to define the signs, negative or positive. First of all, what type of load concentrated on a uniform load? What type of load you are going to have it in your exam? You have in your exam, Uniform distribution load or concentrated load or uniform linear load or sorry, linear load distribution. Load. Let us see. Two, three type of loads concentrated on a particular system values. Okay, I'm, I'm going to explain. Don't worry, we are going to discuss about it. I will, I will. Let us have first the load acting on any system. Any system. Load acting on the system. Load acting in the system. This is a system here. This is a beam. Simply supported beam. Sorry, this is, should be in here. 
end it and we have hang uh, overhanging parts this load is uniform distribution load see this is a standard to indicate uniform load this uniform load is covering by linear meter and we have linear load and you have concentrated load see assume this is you can say 10 caps this is six caps feet and this is uniform is two caps feet and this is a dimension four feet two feet can say two feet and two feet and four feet so you have different type of loads how you are going to calculate the unknowns how many unknowns three first of all you have to draw draw the free body diagram free body diagram and in free body diagram you have to put the equivalent load the equivalent load the equivalent load the first equivalent load here it will be in the middle of the overhanging part the equivalent load is equal to multiply four because this is linear every feet have two kips so the equivalent is the total and the constant a and a it will be acting in the middle of the part if this is a uniform distribution load what is the part of it the half of it is equal two and two two feet two feet concentrated load is a concentrated load this is a concentrated load this is the indicator for the concentrated 10 caps uniform linear linear loads you are going to have a proportional how the proportional this is make it this six feet sorry makes this six feet means what the concentrated load it will be in one to two one over three means this is four feet and this is one feet the value is equal point five multiply the area of triangle point five multiply six multiply six concentrated in the CG of the triangle this is the equivalent how many equivalent I have two equivalent how many concentrated load one concentrated load one concentrated load and two equivalent and the one equivalent two multiply four concentrated linear load is 0.5 concentrated in one over two proportional yes ah two feet sorry sorry so this should be two sir correct guys this is two correct because one over two correct two feet and four feet sorry correct two and four this is really yes correct so means the proportional is one to two one to two multiply six is equal what 
is equal one multiplied two is equal four. One over two, one over three multiply six is equal to one over three. You are here one over three multiply six equal to, and here is two over three, two over three multiply six is equal four. You are if you have على طول كده if you have any linear load my big game is coming in your exam we'll see the and you have here five feet you are going to have here is one and we have here two that mean what one this distance is equal one over three multiply five equal to 1.66 1.66 feet and here is a balance is equal two over three multiply five equal three point three four and the equivalent here is equal this is b method you have a point five b multiply l here total span of the beam clear clear guys this is a three type of load i am going to have it in my exam finish how to convert this laws to equivalent we knew about it now uniform concentrated linear clear guys please tell me clear or not very good Alhamdulillah. We will go for another part. Let us see our type of questions, guys. Let us see our exercise. Very good. Let us see. I will give number six as a homework. Clear. Number six. Read number six. And of all of you, solve number six. Correct. We are going to have a party, inshallah, 1st of July, 5 star hotel. I'm giving you how many days? Today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will discuss about, I will write it now in my notes. So, this is a homework, first questions as a homework. You are doing at your and homework and try to solve it. If all of you solve this question correct, I'm going to invite you for hotel for five star hotel and dinner for five star hotel, inshallah. Number six. This is our homework. Good. Skip number six now and let us go for number seven. All of you, all of you, I will give you for number seven and eight for each question, two minutes, 13 seconds. Solve number seven, telling you the maximum moment in the beam is what type of beam, what type of beam, exactly the same, same figures, same values, same everything, guys, in your exam. You just try to solve it by your own now. If you understand the concept in your exam, will never, never forget. Oh. <laughs> very fast, very fast. <laughs> you are clever, question. Very fast. Okay, very good. And fixed end, guys. The beam here is free end in this side and fixed end in this side. That's meaning cantilever type. This beam is cantilever type and asking you the moment, the maximum moment. Okay, you have uniform load and you have concentrated load. How you are going to deal with uniform load? You are going to deal with uniform load by converting it to con equivalent. Equivalent is equal to 200 multiply 4 is equal 800 acting in the middle of the four span very good let us see your answers all of you let's check let me check 
Okay, yeah, very good, guys. Alhamdulillah. I am so happy that all of you, all of you now in the right track. B, wow, all of you on the right track. I will solve it, guys. I will solve it for all of you. Don't worry. As I told you, the first class is need too, too much effort from me. Yes, I know. And from you as well. If even we'll get another class for structure analysis, no big deal. But as much as you have the confidence and trust yourself and have the knowledge, be very perfect, guys. All of you, perfect. All of you, anyone need to solve this question? Tell me. Tell me, I can solve it or I skip. Up to you. Solve it.